dangerous thing about the art making process. Aside from power tools, uh, fingers getting cut off, electrocutions, those kinds of things, dangerous. Um, you know, I rely upon some type of revealing process uh, as the foundation for for making stuff, um, even making ideas. For me, the most dangerous thing that 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 the trap that I so easily fall into a lot of times is when I uh, I guess take on more of a commercial vantage point where I'm creating media to persuade or to to evoke a very specific um, response. A photo exhibition um, entitled uh, understanding identity through the infinity or something along those lines um, and I use the infinity box to take my photographs and and I printed them all out without any real knowledge of what what I had in front of me um, I, you know, I printed the photos out because, hey, these look kind of cool, these are interesting. Um, you know, very chaotic on one hand and very structured on the other hand. Um, and, you know, smashing those two things together, the chaotic and the very structured, uh, was fun for me. Um, you know, it revealed some, some ways that I go about defining my own, own world. Um, that I don't necessarily either have access to or think about on a daily basis. This really makes me feel uncomfortable. And it was a very chaotic, um, you know, the ideas were, um, you didn't really know what you were looking at. Uh, it was confusing. Um, and so that's, that's I think, what, what gave them that sense of uneasiness. And another photograph where I cut out strips of, you know, rectangles and triangles, and pasted them in an organized way um, inside the infinity box. He said, you know what, I can, I can handle looking at these, these images because they make me feel comfortable. You know, there's something recognizable about, about a piece or all of the photograph. And that sparked the idea um, that a photograph can reveal something about us in the same vein that the Rorschach test can can you know reveal something about us where we we wind up projecting our own um, our own selves onto an image or an object without even realizing that we're doing so. Uh, through experimentation, looking for um, ways of being in the world that fit. Uh, where no commitments have been made. You know, for example, people may try on different occupations. Do they fit? Do they work? How comfortable? Um, how comfortable is it to wear that job? Uh, to wear that hat, so to speak. Um, and people do the same with religion, politics. Um, you know, we try things on to see what works. And it can be really, you know, almost a scary, frustrating time when, and really messy, when we're trying different things on and we're experimenting, especially when it's our own lives because that's, it's real. Versus once we make commitments, we feel very secure. I made that choice, and I believe in that choice. It was a choice made without coercion, whether it's um, putting down paint on a canvas a, sp a specific way, um, choosing an occupation. There's no coercion, uh, you know, where people experiment with all kinds of stuff and they reach that aha moment where something really works.
and it's almost magical. You know, a list of, of how the images broke down at the end of the exhibition where, you know, choose your top three photographs. If these are your top three photographs, then you may have a tendency to be in this identity domain currently in your life. And for me, that, you know, that was a lot of fun. Um, putting photographs on the wall, you know, in kind of two contexts. One is an art context, the other is kind of this psychological testing context in the, in the vein of a Rorschach test. Um, but I, I think I got sidetracked after that for a while, thinking that I can place myself inside of the viewer's head and to evoke a specific response. Um, at least in my art making processes, uh, I want to get as far away from that level of, of precision as possible um, because there's something that's not authentic about it. It's developed by, uh, by those artists, whether they're, we're talking musicians, actors, painters, photographers, movie makers, what have you, um, the most powerful is is when the blood and guts of, of creation uh, is fueled by personal experience um, or experimentation. Uh, because ultimately, because we, we ultimately work, we are really similar um, beings, I think, across the board. I, I think the differences that we we attribute um, that humans try to to attribute to their separateness are are uh, they're not real. Um, I think it's a way that we we protect ourselves and uh, kind of force individuality onto ourselves by creating separateness. Um, and the, the more specific we can get, by golly, we can say, yeah, I am an original person. But you know what? I, I think we're all pretty similar um, across the board. Uh, and so I, you know, I think the biggest danger in the art making process is assuming that I know what's in somebody else's head. And I let that assumption creep into, <clears throat> into my work. Uh, that's very dangerous.